even the simplest rules are a little bit complicated when you get down to enforcing them on a local level. We're going to look at maximum ADU height. State rules, it says that every city has to allow for an ADU to be 16 feet high, but the state law doesn't say how to measure height. <laughs> and that's all in the building code at the local level. And every city and county can have a different interpretation of how to measure what is 16 feet high. So I've got an example from the city of San Mateo where they've done a really good job explaining the state law, explaining how they typically measure building height in San Mateo, and then asking for input on how they should adopt an ADU ordinance to allow for ADUs that are at least a certain height. It's pretty interesting, right? Every city is required to allow for ADUs of at least 16 feet in height. However, it does not specify how that height is measured and it allows cities to decide whether or not to allow for two-story ADUs, which is a whole separate thing. In San Mateo, building height is measured from the existing grade to the top of the highest plate line. And maximum overall height is measured to the highest roof point, like the roof peak, the tallest part of the house. So you see the difference there. Uh, the, the highest plate line is not going to be the highest point in the building. And so the building height is often much shorter than the height between the, the bottom of the building and the top of the building. There's, there's a little illustration here that shows you uh, a house with a 16 foot plate height. It's actually got a 24 foot roof peak. So in the city of San Mateo, they would say that's a 16 foot building height because the, the tallest plate gets up to 16 feet, but it's a 24 foot tall building. This is different in every, every jurisdiction almost. Like uh, the, the county of San Mateo, it's the vertical distance from grade to the highest point of the coping of a flat roof or to the deck line of a mansard roof. I don't actually know how Americans say mansard, mansard. Answered, or to the average height of the highest gable of a pitch or hip roof. So there's three different definitions depending on what kind of roof line the, the structure has. Um, so you kind of see this simple thing of like ADs can be 16 foot in height. Actually, that's complicated and it's down to the local interpretation because uh, they can measure height in a number of different ways. And then what's cool is the city of San Mateo then goes on to ask input. Uh, on how they should interpret that 16 foot height and then whether they should be more generous and allow for buildings to be similar to other single family residences in the city. You don't have to live in San Mateo to do it. Link in the description below. What could be more straightforward than 16 feet in height? It is not that straightforward. Here's a video with six more mistakes that people make all the time because these ADU laws can be a little trickier than they seem at first. If you're thinking about building an ADU, you'll get a lot of value out of binge watching a few of these videos. Thank you, let's build some housing in California and reduce the housing shortage.